Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah in day 18 of the Halloween Craft Countdown 2021. For today, I am giving you a whole bundle of free SVGs. That's right, there are 10 different designs which you can download absolutely free from my website using the link in the description of this video. I'll show you some ideas for how you can use them and also how to load them into Cricut Design Space and how to do a few fun little tricks with them to make them super special and unique to your project. Let's get started. After you've downloaded the Halloween SVGs from my website using the link in the description below, you'll get a zip folder saved to your computer. If you're on a Windows computer, it'll probably be in your downloads folder, but I've just moved this to a separate folder so that I can show you what it looks like. Before you can upload the SVGs into Design Space, you'll need to unzip the folder. I'll show you how to do it on a Windows computer, but if you're on a Mac or a mobile device, check the description of the video and I'll link to tutorials for how to do it on your specific device or machine. On a Windows computer though, it's really easy. You just right click on the folder, press extract all, choose where you want to save it, and then press extract. So that's now made a copy of the folder, but this time it doesn't have the zip down it and the folder name doesn't end in .zip. So this is the one I want. And if I double click in here, I can see all of the SVG files. Now yours might not show this little icon on the left. Mine is saying PS because I have SVG set to open in Photoshop by default on my computer, but yours will probably show either Google Chrome or Safari or um, perhaps Microsoft Edge or some sort of internet browser. The little picture here doesn't matter at all. So if yours doesn't match, don't worry about it. It doesn't affect the SVGs in any way. To use the files on your Cricut, Go to Design Space and make a new file like this and then go into Upload. Press Upload Image and then you can either click Browse to find the file on your computer or you can drag and drop it. As I've already got the folder open, I'm just going to drag and drop. So let's choose the Happy Halloween one and then it will load the SVG in here and then I can press Upload. It will go to my recent upload, so just click it to get that green border and then insert images and it will appear on my canvas. I'll show you some cool tricks you can do with these SVGs in a moment, including how to recolor different parts of it. But first, let's take a look at all 10 designs and some ideas of what you can do with them once you've cut them out. One of the most common uses for this type of SVG file is on clothing. So you cut it from heat transfer vinyl and then you can either use a Cricut Easy Press or a heat press or even an everyday household iron to transfer the vinyl onto your clothing. So here's an example using black vinyl on a white t-shirt, which is an adult size t-shirt. You can also add them onto children's size t-shirts. So here is a lovely example of how it might look. And then here's another example of it on clothing, but this time I've chosen a black piece of clothing and put white vinyl on it instead. So that gives a whole other effect when you cut it from the different color and I think it looks really nice. You can also put the designs on mugs either by using vinyl again or you can cut it from Cricut Infusible Ink and then transfer it onto a mug using the Cricut Mug Press or another type of mug press if you have one of those. Or you could even print it onto sublimation paper using sublimation ink and make a sublimation mug with the design on. So there are lots of different ways you could put these Halloween SVGs onto mugs. Going back to the heat transfer vinyl and you can put them onto tote bags. I really like how this looks with the little bats coming over the side. And this would be great for carrying all your shopping in during the spooky season. We're sticking with the material theme and this is a hand towel, but you could also put it on cloth napkins and then use it to decorate your tables for Halloween, if you're maybe doing a Halloween meal with the family or friends, this would be a nice way to add that extra Halloween vibe to your table. Here's another clothing example, but this time it would be a kind of a bleach t-shirt. So this is quite popular at the moment where you use a spray bottle filled with a mixture of bleach and water to spray the clothing and that will take the color out and bleach the front. And then you can use heat transfer vinyl to put a design on top of that. So this is a little mock-up of how that might look if you decided to do that with any of these SVGs. I love making Halloween decor, so these designs would be awesome for putting inside a frame. 
You could maybe make a reverse canvas and then use heat transfer vinyl to put the SVG on the front. Or you could even just print it on a home printer on a piece of paper and just put it in your frame straight as is. It's completely up to you. Customising pillowcases is another lovely and easy way to use these SVGs. And if you like to decorate your home for the holidays, what better way than by relaxing in the evenings on your sofa with some Halloween cushions to keep you comfortable. And finally for the 10th design, this is how it might look being used on a doormat. So this would probably require the most work as you would want to turn the SVG into a stencil so that you can paint onto your mat rather than using vinyl because vinyl would probably come off once you start walking over the mat. If you'd like to know how to make your own custom doormats then drop me a comment on this video and then I will look into doing a step-by-step -step tutorial for you later in the year. So I hope that gave you some ideas of what you could do with these free Halloween SVGs. But now let's jump back into Design Space and I'll show you how you can recolour these. So all of these SVGs come in as one layer, which means if you tried to recolour them, it would change the whole thing. But what if you just want to colour a part of it? So if we undo that, let's say we want to make happy a nice deep Halloween orange, and then the word Halloween will make it green with a purple bottle in the middle, but then we'll keep the bats at the top black. So we're going to be having black, orange, green and purple, four colours. So we need to make four copies of the SVG. So I'm going to click it and then we've already got one. So press duplicate on top of the layers panel three times. And now we have four. I'm going to recolour each of these. So let's go one as a deep purple. One will be orange. One will be green. And then the black one will keep as black to be the um, bats at the top. Press select all along the top and then go to align and center. That will put each of the layers one on top of the other. So now if we click the eye in the layers panel, you can see they're all here and they're exactly positioned where we need them to go. So I've hidden those first three and now I've just got the bottom one. So let's click on that one and then go into contour. Contour lets you hide parts of a cut. So I want to press hide all contours at this point and that's now got rid of everything apart from this middle bat and I can tell that because the bat has a slightly darker outline to anything else I can see. I also want the other bats so I'm going to press them with my mouse and that makes them darker and now when I click the little cross at the top Everything's gone apart from the bats. I can now try the next layer. So let's turn this on. And um, I think I said the green was going to be the word Halloween, but I'll take the potion bottle out. So let's click this layer and go into contour again. Hide all contours. I just find it easier this way to hide everything and then just bring on what you want. So I'm going to go through all of these letters. And you kind of need to play a bit of cat and mouse trying to get the outlines. An easier way to do it is to look down the layers panel on the contour window. So not your main layers, but the one just in the contour. And then you can find the letters in there and click them to hide or show them. So I just need my N on that Halloween. Where is it? can't actually see it. I'm probably looking right at it, but I'll just click it here instead. Now it's still going to show this bat, which I don't want. So let's click it to hide the bat and then press X. This is almost what we want apart from it's filled in the top of my A. So go to contour again and just click that middle of the A and then close. And now that is ready and that's how we want it to be. Next one is the orange, so click it, go into contour, press hide all contours and then click the happy letters to bring them back on. And then I'm going to click the middle of these letters to show them. I think I've got them the right way round, but let's see. I did. Okay, good. So now that's my word happy. Just one left, which is the potion bottle. 
Click it, go into contour, press hide all contours, and then I'm going to click the bottle. And then I also want to click the skull. There we go. And I'll see what that looks like. I might need to come back into it to do the eyes, but I'll click the bat to hide that one. And then, yeah, you can see I need to bring those eyes back. So back to contour we go. I'm going to look down here and just click those eyes and then close. And now they're appearing. So I've turned the one layer SVG into one which is now four layers and it can all be cut out of different colors of vinyl. But if you wanted to resize this now, there's just one little extra step to make sure you resize everything together. Press select all in the top and then go to group. And now that's grouped all the layers together, which means you can resize them all and they'll all stay in proportion and in the right places. When you're ready to cut, click make it. And you'll see it's separated it all out onto the different colors for you. So I hope that was helpful to see how you can cut a one layer SVG out of lots of multiple colors of vinyl. If you'd like a separate tutorial on how you then line this all up once it's been cut to transfer it over to your project, again, drop me a comment and let me know that that's something you'd like to see and I can work on that tutorial for the future. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it's given you some ideas for using the SVGs in today's free bundle. Don't forget you can get the designs with a link in the description or to get all of the free SVGs from the whole Halloween craft countdown, and there are a lot, go to craftwithsarah.com forward slash Halloween 2021. I'll see you tomorrow for another craft project, but until then, bye.